welcome to my first video of Scrap Mechanic. In this video, I'll be making a base. So let's start. First of all, let's find a good place to start building our base. I think right here is a good place to start building the base. So let's build it right here. I think that we should make the floor out of concrete. Or this block here. So let's place uh, right that right there. Build some more this way. Um, basically, I'm just gonna make a big open floor here. And in our next videos of Scrap Mechanic, we'll be building some uh, some uh, vehicles or other creations in this base here. So let's build the base as our house and like a garage thingy too for our vehicles too. So we we'll put this piece here as well. Where'd it go? Oh, well, under the ground for some reason. I think that should be a, a good spot to stop there. Now it's extended this way. So let's build that way. Build in this corner and pull it out to this corner here. Build this way. And after this row, I'm going to build another row next to it to make it even bigger for our creations. And just a little tiny piece here. Oh, I added too much. Let's get rid of these. I added way too much. Not way too much. I added one row too much. So let's get rid of that one row. And this looks nice. Now let's add one more on this side. Make it as big as we can. And another one too. Because why not? And how about another one? Oh, nice red flowers. And, um, okay, I didn't mean to place out there. I was gonna make a square. And one more square here. We're also gonna build some walls and a roof around it. Oh, this doesn't look too nice, so how did I just get rid of these? Because it goes under the ground for some reason. And I get rid of this as well. All that goes away. How about we build one more row on this side over here, and then let's build on the walls. So I build that right up to here, some more in this corner, and I think I should make the walls of a strong material, such as this material that I'm using right now, but not the same material. And um, alongside with the walls, I'm also going to build a door that opens and closes, uh, kind of like a garage door. So we can put our cars or other creations inside and outside easily. So this looks like a good uh, like little base here. So now let's get some other parts for the walls. What parts should we use? Oh yeah, we also need some windows. Mm, concrete block crew, really, no, I don't feel like using it. I have a brick blocks. Ooh, barrier block. These are cool as well. And that's all. What was it? Brick block. Yep. Let's use this brick block and we don't really need that. Actually we do need that. I don't need that. Alright, so I'm gonna start on this corner right here. Up and build up. What? Oh. Rotate. Why is it building down? Um Oops, I wasn't trying to do that. I'll be right back in a quick second. Yeah, so I figured it out. I was pressing the wrong button. I was supposed to press the left click button, but I pressed the right click button by mistake. So let's build the biggest wall we can here. Ooh, that doesn't look too bad actually. Let's build another one. Right next to it. How many walls do you think it'll take? I think it'll take four squares here. Yeah, exactly four. So now I'm gonna get some windows because it kinda looks boring like that. So let's get a windows. Window, how about square, rectangular, large, small rectangular. How about the large rectangular window? I like this one. Where'd it go? 
Hmm. How about actually? I'll put a window in the other walls. I don't. I don't think it'll look too nice if I put one in this wall. Oh, wrong button. Run to press the left click, not the right click. This way, yeah. Build right there. More build this way. We also needed a roof, I just realized. We'll get one. Actually, how about I build, um, I don't know what's it called? A little balcony on the edge so we can look out to, to the far world. And then, um, like, I don't know. Like, have an open roof, I guess. I look, that, won't, that won't look too bad. I'll do that. Oh, yeah. I gotta switch direction of it. Wrong way. Yeah, this way. And then after the walls, I decide where to put the windows. And then I'll build the door. So the door isn't just gonna be like a normal door. It's gonna be a door that you can open and close using a button. So we just have to fill this in. And then I'll build a door. I'm feeling of having a pretty big door. That probably won't work. My idea was, um, like, I was thinking of making this whole wall a door, but that would be a really big door and it might not work. So instead, how would I do like a, two, uh, a door of two squares? Oh, it disappeared. Put this here. And, and then, once I put all these walls in, I'm going to decide where the door is going to be. And then another wall here, and then we're done. So, I'm kind of feeling of building a door right here. Uh, how big should it be? Hmm. How about I build it in the corner actually? Yeah, I like the corner idea more. So, you get rid of that. How about like that much? And then we put a bearing here at the top. Oh, wrong button. And I have to put a lift up there to get up there. I also broke part of the floor room stick underneath it, but I'll put it, I'll fix the floor up after I get up. So I'm gonna get my brick and make the lift go up. So I can place my, my little brick there. And then now I can make the lift go down. So now the lift is down, I can get rid of it. I think my hands have to be empty. So, I don't actually might need that. I don't need that. So I can now get rid of it. Oh, wrong button again. Alright, so now I can place a bearing here. Another one here. Let's choose a, a block or a material for the door. Hmm. Uh, which one? How about what's this? Net block, cardboard box, concrete, some wood. I'm feeling like this block, this concrete block for it. It looks cool. So now let's place these concrete blocks here. Starting on there, no problem. and it goes all the way down to here. Ooh, that looks cool! And then another one that goes this way. So, actually, how about I restart? I feel like building a bit smaller. So I'm gonna destroy all of these. Actually, never mind. I don't want to build smaller. I think that's a good size. So I'll put it right back. Put that there. And that here. Alright, so now we just have to select a switch to open and close the door. So interactive and a switch. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, I just had a cool idea. How about at the bottom of the door? I build a row with this um, barrier blocks. I think they'll look cool. So, uh, I think it's too tall. Don't worry, I'll put the floor back. Get rid of that. And that. And I can crouch down lower, like this. And then place those right under the door. Oh, wrong way. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Place that right there. And I'll fix the other gap on the other side whenever the door starts working. So now, um, I'm here right now. So I'm gonna turn the direction around like this. Why is it going that way? There we go. Now if I put it here, I can now drag it across like that. And like that. Yay! It might get stuck, so... I just realized it could get stuck, possibly. Potentially. So I'm gonna get rid of that and a different idea instead. So I'm gonna destroy those. And that. And build this as part of, part of the floor. So I put those right there. And then... Those here. So now I'm gonna put a switch somewhere. How about here on the wall? Right there. So it has no connection, so let's make a connection to it. Where should we connect it to? How about... Where are the connections? Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, we have to have like a, there's a little like, box that we have to connect it to, on the way to the bearings. Yeah, so it's one of these controllers, I'm gonna choose a controller, how about controller 5? Yeah. I'll put the controller, how about next, oh, wrong, wrong one. I'll put the controller right next to it, like that. So now I can connect this to the controller. And the controller to that. So now let me open it. It doesn't work because we have to set it. So how about like. Uh, do it this way for like. Too much. How about like. 90 degrees. I think that'll be good. Yep, so that's only half of it. And we connect the other half to the other one. Like that. I have to change the direction of it. So now when we use it, we have to make another direction so it goes in another 90 degrees. So we can actually close the door as well and we don't just open it. Like that. Now it actually closes as well. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, yeah. We have to use this and make a second one that goes 90 degrees. And another one that goes another 90 degrees but reverse. So we can shut the door. Wait, wait, oh, oop. No, I'm not too smart. I made a mistake. I meant it to go the other way. What's the, what's the door doing? So I switch it around 90 degrees. And 90 degrees this way instead. Perfect. Now shut the door. And now I'm gonna make a second one for the other door. In this one. 90 degrees this way like the first door. And 90 degree, degrees this way. There we go. So let's test to see if it works. Let's see. You use. Yay it works. But how about we switch directions so it opens outwards, not in inwards. So change the orientation. And also change that one as well. Huh? Oh yeah, it's gonna go that way. 
And the outside, I'm gonna add another switch. Where is that one? One block, so this one has to go... Right, how about... Yeah, so it goes right there to be... Um... <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. How about I put that right back, right there. And then I connect it... To that. And... We don't need that anymore. So now we can put back our the switch here that I destroyed by mistake. So then now it's back and let's connect it up to the control panel. Connect. And now connect. Oh yeah, okay, it's connected. Let's see if it works. No connections, what? I guess we can only connect one switch to it. Alright. That's okay. So let's get rid of that. And let's fix the floor, because that doesn't look too great. I think it was this. Yeah, it was this block. And now, we fill it up. And I think it's building the wrong way. Yeah. It kind of looks like a chocolate bar. And we just have to fill up this little hole in the corner right there. And one above it like that. And a little gap right there. I like this. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Yay, it works! Cool! Now the question is... So I'm gonna get that block that I used for the door. Which was yeah, concrete block free. I'll get the window back later. But I'm just gonna see if I have it on the bottom if it'll work, because I'm not too sure if it will. So I'm gonna destroy it all again. Yes, I know. And then build it back real quick. And I'll destroy that too. And that as well. Now it's all gone, so I'm gonna put it right back and see if I can actually go, uh, you know, downwards. One walk closer to the floor. I'm not too sure if that'll work, but let's try. It might get stuck on the floor. But let's see if it works or not. It's an experiment. Use it. Oh yeah, it doesn't get stuck. Oh, that's cool. So now we don't have to have a gap in it. Oh, what's happening? No, that's right. What happened? One goes before the other one, it looks like. Let's try it again. Maybe it was just an unlucky try. No, it always does that. I wonder why. Is it like... A bit faster. Whoa. <laughs> okay, too fast. Way too fast. No. Hmm. Alright, so that was way, way too fast. Well, I think it's okay because it like, gets split in half in the middle. I'm gonna have to put another bearing at the top. Yeah, so if I get rid of that piece and I shut the door and I put one bearing right there, like that. Oh, wrong button. It's easier if we're up there. Let's go up there. Let's select our block that we're going to use. And let's make the lift go up, like that. Fill up this little hole here. Let's see where that little cr the crack was that the door splits in half. Okay, right there. So get rid of that. Place it right there. Oh, wrong one. Place and place. And let's go on top of the door and place this block on that. So now, hopefully, it'll fix the issue. Let's try it. 
Hmm, so that's better. It's connected up, right? Yeah. So let's try it again. Kind of gets split in half again. I have another idea. So this time, I break that block right there. I break that. I go shut the door. I put another bearing in there. So now it's all connected together. So it's now shutting the door. I put one in there. And that uh, on it like that. Let's see if this works now. I hope it works. What? Why didn't it work? So that's where it should be. Let's connect it all in the bearing for sure. There we go. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna fix this issue that it splits in half and I'll be right back, alright? I'm back. So I fixed the issue. Uh, what I did is I made half the door connected to one bearing and the other half connected to the other one. So now it all stays together. I'll show you. So it shuts together and it opens together as well. And I was thinking of also making a bit faster too. Probably 100%. Let's see. Let's try opening it. I think it's a bit too fast. I don't really like it. How about this one? 80% I'm guessing. Close it. Close it smoothly. And it also opens smoothly. But I don't still like it. How about a bit slower? Now it's shut. Now it opens. Perfect. I like this speed. In the next episode of Scrap Mechanic, I am gonna build a little balcony around the top and a few vehicles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!